Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So, usually what I do every freaking morning, this is like a routine. I stop at a gas station and I buy a Core Power 42 gram protein shake and that's my breakfast. That's literally all I'll have for breakfast usually. I used to have eggs and avocado, but it got so freaking boring eating eggs every freaking day and sometimes I wasn't hungry in the morning. So I just switched to this because it's like chocolate milk and it keeps me full until lunch. So that's usually what I do. And then I always get a sugar-free Red Bull which is so bad for you but I do it anyway today me and my friend are going to go get Botox I've never gotten Botox before I don't even know if I'm eligible for it I have to do like a consultation to see if I'm even allowed this would obviously be preventative Botox so that I don't get freaking wrinkly in the future I know everybody has a different opinion on Botox so just shut the hell up and let me live my life because I'm excited to go do this with my friend, so let me enjoy it. Yeah, so I kind of have a far drive. I think the place we're going to is like two hours away. So I'm gonna go stop at the Tesla charger and just plug her in for a good old charge. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go try to get some Botox. I don't even really know where they would put it because I'm literally perfect. Tesla. Okay, so I got the Tesla plugged in, but real quick, the reason why I've been drinking sugar-free Red Bulls versus coffee is, let me tell you, I've been trying to not drink chemicals, but here's the thing. I can't drink coffee for the life of me. If you get like an actual coffee from Starbucks that's like one of their signature drinks, they pump that crap with sugar. The amount of sugar that they're putting in their coffee is insane. You might as well just drink a soda. Honestly, soda probably has less calories than the coffee because if you're adding milk on top of that, it's like a 500 calorie drink. So if you're trying to watch your calories and you think that drinking a fat coffee from Starbucks is doing something for you, you're literally lying to yourself first off. The main reason why I've been drinking Red Bulls and shoving chemicals into my stomach instead of drinking a coffee is because Starbucks can never get your order right. Has anyone else witnessed this? I even order on the freaking mobile app every morning and I type it in. It's literally just like a preset, like it's saved because I order it so much. By the way, if you wanna know what I get, it's actually disgusting. So I just get two shots of espresso over ice. I'll add like a pump of hazelnut, vanilla, brown sugar, like one of those. I don't. I only do one pump, I don't do a several. Cause one pump of freaking vanilla, it's like 25 calories. But apparently Starbucks baristas don't understand what that means. Like I feel like a lot of Starbucks workers, they don't know how to read the dang thing you ordered. Like it's literally printed out word for word. See Red Bull's so freaking good. Basically I'm sick of paying up to $5 a drink and then they don't even get it right and it tastes like little rotting cooch. My Starbucks coffees in the last month have literally tasted like rotting cooch and I can't do it. And why? And for why though? I'm sick of tasting rotting cooch, okay? Who wants rotting cooch coffee? I don't know a single soul that would want that. So that's why I've just been drinking sugar-free Red Bulls is because one, the calories, it's only 10. Okay, let me just say this really quick. If you literally get, like, let's look at the f***ing Starbucks menu. Hold on, bit. Iced white chocolate mocha. 420 calories in a grande. <laughs> Four pumps of white chocolate mocha. <laughs> 420 calories! That's literally like a whole meal. Oh my gosh! 560 calories in a freaking vent. I'm gonna fart. I think I just shit my pants. Oh no. So anyways, that's my little rant about Starbucks right now. I know that that's such first world problems, but literally like it's pissing me off lately. So there is 10 minutes remaining and I'm at 95%. So far, it's cost me $2.07. Let's go pick up my friend and then we're heading to go get Botox. If I don't look like this after I get Botox, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, I'm here with Queen Erica. She's driving us to the Botox session. Woo! 
Uh, I'm gonna try to film it. Do you think they'll let me? I'm gonna film us getting injected. I still don't even know. Will they even let me do it? Like, could she possibly be like, you don't need it? Or will she be like, no, you need it. <laughs> need it, <that>, boo. <laughs> She's like, you Get need all the units out here. <laughs> she gets like 5,000 units. Yeah, I'm getting a little nervous. I hope this isn't a mistake and I regret it. Hey, wait, guys, how many units am I getting? You're getting 47. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak you out. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I have to get 47 units. Guys, I'm already shaking. If my eyes water, just keep going. Okay, okay. I'm gonna clean your forehead with alcohol first. Oh my gosh, wait, why am I so nervous? Everyone's first time. I've always wanted to do this, though. I always tell my first time patients, welcome to the rest of your life. I'm gonna have you turn your head towards me just a little bit. Okay, okay. raise your eyebrows and relax. Okay, here we go, you got this. Oh my gosh. Not bad, right? No. Just keep breathing. You guys, I'm doing it. Okay, angry face. Okay. Wait, what's my angry face? Yeah, pull your eyebrows together. Perfect. Okay, and relax. I feel like people make this way more dramatic than it needs right. to be. Right. People are freaking Like, wimps. people online make it seem like it's a huge job. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Okay, smile really squinty for me. Okay, and relax. Okay, we just have three more. Other eye. That's it, and then we're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn oh my towards gosh. me just a little bit. Okay, been two smile, minutes. squinty, relax. Okay, we did it. Period. <laughs> did it, mom? Are you proud of me? She's probably so disappointed, actually. <laughs> you guys, I got Botox, and now my face won't move. I'm scared to move it because I feel like something's gonna happen. Period. <laughs> now we really can be like. <laughs> oh, I should have I should have taken an Instagram. Dang it. So I'm not allowed to touch my face for four hours and then it takes what two weeks to yeah. kick in? It was four hundred and sixty-seven dollars for that. That's crazy. But worth it. I'm driving past my billboard. It's kind of dark. Can you see it? There I am, I'm on the billboard. Period! Yes, period! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that will never not be cool to me. Like, seeing your giant face on a freaking billboard, it's the weirdest thing ever. Like, every time I see it, I'm like, that's just so freaking weird. Like, my face is right there. So I know I haven't given an update on my kitty cat, Bougie. Come here. Ugh. He's doing so much better, guys. He can walk, he can run, he can jump. Like, he's healed, and I'm so happy. We had to basically lock him in a room where he couldn't jump or run or do anything for about a week. They told us two weeks, but literally within one week he was better. Every now and then he'll do like a little weird limp thing, but like every day I'm seeing him get better and better. So I am just so happy that we don't have to give Bougie surgery. That was stressing me out like no other. Every day I'd be like, please heal Bougie, please heal. Because I did not want to have to go and take him into surgery. That would have broke my heart. On my little couch, look what's behind me. My Gucci bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, there it is. I bought a Gucci belt. I got it like a week and a half ago from Vegas and I still haven't opened it yet because I wanna film it and I wanna vlog it right and I just haven't found the time to do it. That's why it's just been sitting in my kitchen. But very soon I'm going to be opening my Gucci belt. I'm gonna wear it and I'm so excited. Look at how big Bougie's getting. Like he's so freaking fluffy. Okay everyone, I'm making Bumble Boy and I dinner tonight. We got some noodles cooking up in here. I made us Italian chicken, so that's what's in the crock pot right now. It's about done, it looks so freaking good. I made Bumble Boy and us dinner. It's Italian chicken with green beans and some corn. So he's gonna try it, tell me if he likes it. Ready, go. I love Italian chicken usually, so here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That what is so think? yummy. Is it good? It's literally so good. Did I do amazing? Mmm. Period. It's really good, though. Come over to my house and I'll make you Italian chicken. Why do you say Italian? Isn't it Italian? We're watching the woman championship game. I use cauliflower rice instead of noodles because I'm trying to watch my double chin. Period. Period. Okay, I wanted to let any of you guys know if any of you guys actually give a rat's ass, but me and Bumble Boy created a Instagram together. So if you guys want to check it out, if you want to follow it, see what we're gonna be up to in the next year or two. There'll be a link down below. I just wanted to let any of you guys know. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching me get Botox. Doing great, I'm living for it. And I'll see you guys next week. Next week I'm opening up my Gucci belt. So 
I'm excited. But okay, finally, let's freaking open this Gucci Gucci bag. This Gucci is hotter than a Hoochie Gucci. Oh! Look, this is so bougie. What is this? It says Gucci right there. Oh my gosh, the logo's so bougie. 